Yeah, he's, uh, he's instrumental for their pack, you know, <clears throat> leads uh, from the front uh, defensively. I think he's really, really superb. Um, and then uh, then his line-out work, you know, I think the French pack really needs that line-out to get on the front foot, uh, and, and he drives that uh, really, really accurate with what he does at line-out. Um, and I'm sure he'll have a few plans up his sleeve to try and try and counter our line-out. So I think it's going to be a good tussle uh, between Charlie, Mera and, and uh, uh, Livion this weekend at line-out time. And the, the balance in their back row, Aldrich does a lot of the donkey work, doesn't he? Really powerful. Uh, does you know? I think uh, you know him and the two locks really defensively uh, lead their lead their charge. Uh, you know, around the edges to stopping momentum. Uh, so I, I think that's uh, it's a great balance they've got. You know, he uh, Olivier tends to roam a little bit and carries wider, and then uh, Aldrich closer with the two locks doing the defensive work. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Chris. Uh, Duncan, we'll come to you next, please. Hi, Matt. Hi. Duncan, with how the, are you? Yeah, very good, thank you. With the title out of reach, what's the motivation for tomorrow's game? Uh, this team's performance is what motivates us every week. is about being better than we were the previous week, focusing on things we can improve, uh, and, and that's our motivation. That doesn't change where you are in a competition. Uh, uh, that's the same every week. And how do you get the balance between not wanting to give away more penalties whilst also throwing everything you've got at France? Being smarter, knowing knowing which are which are the stupid ones, you know, and, and, and correcting that. You know, obviously, if a team is applying pressure and you get caught in the wrong position, then you know that's going to happen in the game. But uh, the ones that we release the pressure, the ones we we need to be smarter about. Uh, we've spent a lot of week, you know, understanding where, where we are transgressing and used uh, referees and had live sessions with referees, so uh, we've really addressed that. Um, players have, 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 you know, honed their skills about where they can apply pressure and where, you know, where's the line. Okay, what are the strengths overall of this French pack? And when, when a team opts for a 6-2 split on the bench, how significant is that? I think they're telling you something. I think they're telling you where the pressure point is going to be. So obviously set piece, you know, their scrum, their more uh, is going to be, going to be, I think those are going to be the two big, real big pressure points. Uh, they're a very, very big pack. Those two second rows are massive. Um, so I think, you know, they're going to really add a lot to their scrum, you know, a lot of power behind that front row. Uh, and then, you know, with Olivia leading their line out, I think their more is going to be devastating. And we're going to have to stop that. Okay. Thank you, Matt. Thanks very much, Duncan. Charles, we'll come to you, please. Hi, Matt. Um, just following on from Duncan's question about the referees, um, it's Andrew Brace on Saturday. He refereed the uh, Automations Cup final. Um, where France were very aggrieved with, with some of his decisions. I just wondered how much you'd spoken about him specifically in the group and, and how he refereed in back in December. Uh, I think the laws stay the, stay the same. You know, the referee is there to referee the law. Um, I think like any game, things happen. Uh, I think Andrew is a very good referee. We, we understand uh, his, his style. We've had our, had our conversation with him, uh, the, the messages he's looking for. You know, so I think those are the important messages. You know what what he sees and how we how he interprets it. Uh, so the team has 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 taken on that message. But I think the big thing that we've spoken about from a referee perspective is, as I said, what can we control? What we are those moments that that when we are trying to apply pressure, that you know we need to be smarter about. So that's been our big focal point about a referee this week. Have you reviewed reviewed his performance from December this week? No, we review constantly uh, every performance, um, you know, areas we've spoken about. And as I said, uh, every referee has has his plan and, and we need to understand it. And that was the, the conversation we've had with him. Um, and and I'm sure like a player, they improve, they make mistakes and they get better, you know. So um, we're, we're expecting, you know, Andrew to um, to referee the law uh, and, 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 and what his interpretation is from that. So I, I don't think there's there should be anything other than that, 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 that's applicable. Thanks, Matt. Thanks very much. Um, do we have any other questions for Matt? Okay, we'll end the live section of uh, Matt's press conference there. Thanks very much, Matt. You are done. Thank you.